So hey guys, I thought I would shoot a quick video here today comparing three different charge controllers. So what I have here is the TriStar MPPT60 and uh, I've got it hooked up to my Goal Zero. Watched a video by Will Prowse how he connected straight into the slot there, the battery slot with his MPPT controller. And uh, just gotta be real careful doing it this way because you really have to rely on the controller's settings not to exceed the battery. So how I have this set up is the regulations at 12.42. So the good news is the battery is only at 11.5 right now. So I don't see any immediate danger here for us of uh, overcharging the battery. And if you take a look at the TriStar settings, Right now I'm at about 105 watts. I've seen it go up to 150. It's really sunny out today. A light cloud, light haze over it. I'm using these Boulder briefcase 200 solar panels. So I have um, the two solar panels going into, And you can see right here, this is, I made up a custom Anderson connection that I had in another video. And I have that going into the array portion of the TriStar controller. And the out uh, battery portion is going into the Yeti 1000. So what we can see here is we're just gonna compare the three different controllers to see how close they are to each other. And I have a feeling they're going to be very close, but I wanted to do uh, the TriStar PWM just to show you what the difference is in um, wattage over the next 15 minutes. So you can see right now, I am at 135 watts, 16.7 volts on the panel, and the amperage is 8.40. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and change this out in a minute. I'm just going to record it here for a few seconds just to see if we can see how much it goes up and down. So the sun's getting more intense. I can feel it getting warmer. You can see it going up. So almost 150 watts right there. A little bit more, 156, 160 almost. So 161. It's probably about the most we're going to get is between 160, around the 160, we'll call it. All right, I'm going to go ahead now and hook up the, what we have over here is the Victron. And then I have a PWM controller right here that we're gonna hook up as well. So, one last shot before I take this down, 162. Okay, so now I got the Victron hooked up. Hopefully you can see this screen. It's extremely bright out today. So we're pulling, um, I seen it just jump to 160 there a few seconds ago. Pulling almost exactly what the TriStar was pulling. You can see the we're at 164 right now. So you can see over here, hopefully you can see this on the Victron app. So we're pulling 16 volts off the panel, 9.7 amps, battery voltage is 11.6, and the current is 13.1. So I would say the Victron is doing almost every bit as good as the TriStar. I have the PWM controller hooked up and I'm gonna, because I have the remote panel hooked up, it might be easier for you to see, but you can clearly see the difference here on this. Um, the intensity is about Did the same as it was before, right except for now I'm getting 126 watts and before I was getting 150. So, um, We'll just wait a few minutes here to see if we can see a difference. But again, I have this 
programmed so that it won't exceed 12.42 volts so that we don't cause any harm to that lithium ion battery in there. So you can see the charge current is 1099, almost 11. I don't know how well that's, there you go, it looks like it's focused in now. And um, again, just hopefully you can see this. Oh. <laughs> so, definitely appears to be slightly less efficient than the MPPT controller. I think we were pulling one between 160 and 130 in, depending on the intensity. I wanted to show you one last thing, and that was going straight into the PWM controller. Hopefully, you can oh, see I think that. I'm in this part. Come on. I don't this know if you're going to be able to see that or not, but in. that is yeah. 120 watts out of this built-in PWM controller, which is about the same as we saw with the TriStar PWM. I don't really know if you can see that. It's so bright out here. But it does say 116, so around 120 watts when it's connected up the way it should be through the PWM, the built-in PWM.